I do apologise that I look like I've been dragged through a hedge and backwards because I have just, well, I'm not woken up, but I've recently gotten out of bed and um, I woke up about half seven. So, yeah, I've been up for a couple of hours, but I've just recently got out of bed. It is a Saturday, so, you know, that does warrant a really nice, chilled morning. Um, so, yeah, today is just going to be a really nice, chilled vlog. Um, it's been a super, super busy week recently, so I've not been, man I've not been able to get the... Um, pick up the camera or anything like that so yeah it's just going to be a really nice super chill vlog me and Simon are actually on annual leave for the next week and a bit which is super super exciting so really looking forward to getting some house bits done that we needed to do and um, so you'll see that in hopefully in the next vlog that we've got um yeah some decorating to do and a few little house updates which is super super exciting um but yeah, today, like I said, it's just going to be a really nice chilled vlog. It is a Saturday and it is very, very wet and wintry outside. But I do want to get try and get my 10,000 steps in today. So we might go for a really nice long dog walk just around the local area. Um, but we also do need to do a little bit of a food shop. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty conscious that I'd seem to do food hauls in every single vlog. So... Um, I'm not too sure if I'll show you our food haul or all of it. <laughs> um, but yeah, we do need to do sort of like a little bit of a weekly food shop. And I'm just currently opening my laptop and just need to finish uploading um, a skincare video that's going out tonight. So I just need to do sort of the description box, all the links and, and whatnot. Um, and then, yeah, I've just got my morning call coffee as well and I also kind of just want to do a little bit of a sort out in my skincare room office um just because it's getting a little bit cluttered and it's kind of like yeah I just need a bit of a, a cleanse with that skincare room anyway so I'll bring you along with me for that and I actually was watching Gemma Louise Miles's vlog the other day and she um, was actually making homemade pizzas which was just like got me right in the mood so I said to Simon um, let's like get that recipe out that vegan um, pizza recipe out again and let's make homemade pizzas for dinner tonight so that'll be really fun and exciting and of course I need to sort this out it is not fun <laughs> oh, oh I'm brushing my teeth as well I can't believe I'm actually plugging when I'm not brushing my teeth yet and I've actually got a PR parcel that I want to show you as well uh, which is from the Inkalis and I did actually um it came the other day right but I was out I was actually in the office at work and like in my work office at work and um it, it obviously came and I wasn't here so they put it in the recycling bin and I emptied our indoor recycling bin into the outside recycling bin and I only noticed it when I was doing that so luckily that I saw that and um, otherwise it would have been crushed <laughs> um but yeah Inkelis actually sent me a really nice parcel is here so I wasn't expecting this at all and it is close to Valentine's Day so they have kind of done like a little Valentine's Day parcel which is super super lovely and really nice So, it says, Dear Adam, Happy Valentine's Day, Love Army, Sophie, Casey and Georgia. And it's got some lovely looking biscuits in there, which I'll open in a second with you. Um, but yeah, so they just sent out some of their, like, best sellers, basically. So we've got the niacinamide there, which is a really good niacinamide. We've got their retinol, equally as good as well. That's such, such a good, like, star to retinol. Um, we've got some hyaluronic acid in there and also some caffeine eye cream and they've sort of like put in some love hearts which is super super cute and also some like dried flower petals but yeah these biscuits honestly they look so so good I'll try and do this one handed oh look at that skill so the honey well 
Biscuit Company. How cute are them? So they're actually Inculus personalised cookies or biscuits. <laughs> and they smell incredible as well. Super, super excited to try these tonight. Yeah, look at that, so cute. Um, so yeah, thank you Inculus for sending over a little Valentine's Day parcel, which is super, super nice. Meantime, I don't actually really do um, a Valentine's day really um i did try once a few years ago and tried making the cake and it fell apart when i lifted it up and also we had beef wellington and i dropped it on the floor so it's kind of a bit of a bad luck for me and simon to do valentine's day yeah so we don't really do valentine's day um so it's nice to actually get a gift from someone else <laughs> Oh, so that's a little bit better, isn't it? So I have finally, well, I mean, my face is actually looking a little bit red from just being out in the shower then. So um, I'm gonna use a skincare routine that's super, super calming, full of really anti-inflammatory ingredients and um, yeah, absolutely wonderful. So I will show you a little skincare routine, but I am, at least I'm washed and I'm dressed and looking a little bit better. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but we are actually, um, I mean, I'm not going to show you because it's a little surprise. You might see it ne in next week's video. But we are going to be redecorating this room, which is like my skincare slash office room. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be adding like dado rails and painting it a different colour and just freshening it up a little bit. So, yeah, that's very exciting. I've just got like paint samples, you know, like when you like put pieces of paper or lining paper um, and like, yeah just put some paint on the wall uh, so yeah it's all full steam ahead anyway i need to desperately put some product on my face because it is feeling a little dry but first of all i'm going to go on with the neon fraction aided eye contour concentrate so i've been using this since like november now and um, i'm not really too sure if it's making a difference to my eyes it's supposed to be like a reduce the fine lines the wrinkles around your eye area and also like hydrate it, lighten the dark circles. But to be honest with you, I'm not really seeing much difference with it. So you kind of just put like a little tiny drop on each eye and just pat it in like so. I always like to kind of pat it around here as well, obviously, you know, those squinty lines and um, but yeah so what basically is it looks like that it's only tiny it's 15 mils and and um, pretty expensive actually but one drop like literally lasts you such a long like one drop lasts like around the eye area and um, so you know when you fill the dropper up like that it actually it could last you about two weeks um but i don't even put any pressure on the dropper and I just let it, oh my god, my hands are so shaky. Yeah, I don't let it sort of like squeeze the drop or anything. I just let it drop down. Let gravity do the work. But that just goes under the eye, across that area, and just a little bit above the brow bone. And because I'm like a huge skincare enthusiast, it's, um, it's, I never, I'm not one of those kind of people that sort of has a set routine, uses set products daily i always like to swap different products out try different combinations in routines and just try new products as well so yeah i don't really have a set routine um but there are products that i know that work for my skin um for my skin concerns at that given time so obviously i've got like the redness and um you know it's feeling a little bit dry because it's been, a, you know, it's been like 10 minutes since I got out of the shower. Um, so yeah, then I sort of like always adapt my routine to different concerns, different weather environments, 
um, and just what my skin is basically telling me at that day. So, but then I'm going to go on with the True Water Vitamist by Thank You Farmer. Just a little spritz because my face is being a little bit dry. Um, so it looks like that. And it is that biphase mace where it's got the oil components to the water components as well. This is actually really nice and quite new into my collection. But And so because my skin is damp, um, this product is just going to work absolutely wonders for it. So it is the Skin 104 Madagascar Centella Ampoule, which contains 100% Centella Asiatica extract. So perfect for the redness that I am, I'm a bit blotchy on my face. Um, so I've nearly actually ran out of this bottle. Uh, however, I do have a big version waiting to be open. So I just put a full pipette or dropper in there and then just pat it into my skin and so because my skin is still damp I'm just feeling like I want a bit of hydration in there I want a bit of plumpness and, and like you know suppleness so Vici actually sent me recently their iconic mineral 89 like hyaluronic acid um, volcanic mineral serum booster serum kind of thing and um, so I've just been trying that out obviously I've not gone through that much um but so far it's actually really good the consistency is like really nice and gel like quite thick for a hyaluronic acid serum but perfect for the colder drier and wet and windy months well wet drier that doesn't make sense um yeah but the winter months and then after the Vichy Hyaluronic Acid Serum, I'm going to go in with the Zellens T-Shot Urban Defense Serum. This has got like a range of different teas, which are fantastic antioxidants, really sort of like making the skin microbiome really healthy as well. Um, so, so great if you're going outdoors or if you live in a city or anything like that, um, basically just really protecting your skin. So lovely lovely texture and i just put like three little squirts because it is a pump bottle and work that in to my skin and then next we're going to go on with a moisturizer and like i was saying because my skin is feeling like well looking a little bit red and blotchy and i'm not too sure why because it wasn't this morning and i didn't really do anything different in the shower i don't have hot showers really they're like lukewarm and just been using a cleanser that I've been using for a long time now. Um, so yeah, not too sure about that, but I'm gonna be going on with the Madagascar Centella Soothing Cream by Skin 104, like so. This, um, if you've seen my skincare videos, I absolutely love this and rave about it all the time because it's got like a high concentration of centella asiatica extract in there it's also got ceramides it's got tranexamic acid so it's literally such a powerhouse moisturizer and it's also lightweight gel consistency as you can see it is such a lovely color lovely texture and consistency and it just like oh absorbs so lovely into the skin again perfect for like any inflamed skin, any skin condition that just feels really irritated, it's you know, heart is burning and it's dry, um, especially dermatitis, like I was saying, around the nose area, it just works wonders. It just gives such a like lovely, like really subtle and soft glow to the skin and it dries down super, super quickly. So hydrating, but really kind of like perfect for your oily combination skin types as well. And then um, moving on to the last step, which of course is sunscreen, because we're going out for a long dog walk, gonna try and get in our 10,000 steps. Um, I'm gonna go on with the EV Daily Defense Face Moves SPF 50. I just can trust this and rely on this for, especially for the really long kind of like walks and sort of being outside for a long time and um, even though it is super super overcast today and really cloudy it's still so important to wear sunscreen so squirting a little bit of that well it looks like a lot but yeah it comes out in like a foamy whipped squirty cream kind of consistency and then just really like melt 
into the skin and I can take this um, SPF up to the lash line as well which is so so great but I do know that and some people can be quite sensitive when they put sunscreens to the lash line but this one for me the Eva technology one doesn't irritate it or anything like that for me personally <laughs> I don't like part of Christmas now. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. In February. And well, uh, that is my skincare routine done for this morning. Of course, I'll link all of the products in the description box down below. Um, but yeah, really soothing, really hydrating, and really protective products there. Just setting my skin ready for the day to fight off all of the outside elements and just sort of all the nasties as well so yeah really really happy and of course that SPF EV SPF has given me a lovely glow to the skin what? is the sign of a very blustery and wet walk but that was a lovely lovely walk i mean it did rain and it was so windy but it was so nice to get some fresh air how many steps have i done actually ah oh, nearly ten thousand. so i've done eight thousand seven hundred seventy nine steps however it is only half past one um so yeah the day is still young for the step count um i mean we do have to do a little food shop as well so that's walking around the supermarket and then we'll be taking ellie out again this after uh, well this evening for her evening walk later on so yeah i'm pretty sure i'll hit ten thousand steps anyway um, but yeah, so I've just popped all of like the, you can see all of like the blankets on the sofas there just because Ellie's having the little rinse down in the bath. Um, she's just got a little bit dirty under her undercarriage belly. <laughs> But yeah, I think we're just going to sort of like um, chill out for a little bit now and then do a food shop, which I'm very much looking forward to. If I can get this off. Oh, oh and a cup of tea as well. So I did actually have two Amazon parcels that came while we were out. Um, so first one is bought this book that also um, I did hear on Lydia's channel um, recommend was um, Roxy Nafusi's Manifest, Seven Steps to Living Your Best Life. So yeah, looking forward to reading that because I'm always like a bit sort of like, um, don't really like self-help or self-positive books um, that are kind of a bit judgmental or a bit patronizing. So I'm looking forward to reading that up, reading that reading that book. Um, it looks pretty, pretty easy to be honest. There's not a lot of pages, about 100 and 50 pages or something like that so yeah looks really interesting so looking forward to reading that i am actually currently still reading mo gordat's solve for happy happiness um where i'm about about i'm about halfway deep actually um and that is honestly so so good but when i finish that i will um talk about it a lot more and um just sort of share my thoughts on it and then in this parcel so, since ever since lockdown actually, Simon has been cutting my hair and he does such a good job of it. Like, honestly, he could definitely open a barbershop and, you know, make a living off it because he's so, so good at it. So, I did purchase um, some new hair clippers because I got some for my birthday last year actually. Um, and I probably like used them about two times and I dropped them on the bathroom floor and they absolutely shattered. So been longing for some of these. We've been making do so far with Simon's dad's hair clippers. So we like borrow them when we need them. Um, but yeah, just thought now's the time to just purchase my our, our own hair clippers. And it comes with a, what's it come with? It comes with like a comb, a brush, and lots of different coloured 
length attachments. So yeah, by Remington from Amazon and um, Simon will be cutting my hair tonight because it is due a cut. Even though it is quite short, it is due a cut, absolutely. <laughs> Belly belly. <laughs> oh dear me. <laughs> Come on then. Oh, sorry, my love. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good girl. Oh, thirsty girl, thirsty girl. So, the food shop has been done and it's absolutely pouring with rain outside. So, that's why the lights are on because it's very, very dark. Um, but, pick up some daffodils so we're on our walk today and we saw some new spring buds coming up from the ground so inspired me to buy some daffodils so i'll pop these in some water and a nice vase probably put them on the kitchen island as well i think that'll be super super nice and then also picked up some seeds as well because even being even more inspired um picked up some wildflower seeds and some poppy seeds so the oh and some cosmos as well so um, these were in Morrison's and there were four packets for five pounds, which I think was quite quite reasonably priced actually. Um, and the Cosmos you plant in, well you sow in February to May and they come up June to October. And the wild flowers um, you sow in March and they come up around June to October time. Yeah. So I think we're going to sort of try and look for like a really nice old style um wooden planter or something that we can pop in, in at the front of the house which would be really nice and be full of loads of wildflowers and attract all the wildlife and we are trying to be a little bit healthy today uh, well this week but um i couldn't resist picking up some cinnamon cinnamon buns so these aren't obviously the ones like um a cinnabon but I thought maybe we'll give those a go and and you know do a little taste test and um See if they compare, well, I mean, they won't even compare to cinnamon, but they'll still be nice. And these bagels looked super, super nice. So they are the New York Bagel, New York Bakery Company, and they are the deli bagels with everything. So you've got poppy and sesame seeds, caramelized red onion, and roasted garlic infused in there, which, oh. Is it like everything seasoned in it? I mean we are trying to be healthy we did actually get quite a healthy food shop but look at that mini egg with mini eggs with micro mini eggs inclusion ah. I mean we've already we've already gone through like three packets of mini eggs already and these look super super nice in Morrison's as well so these are the Mano, Mano Massa chips they are the Serrano chili and Yucantan honey so we bought some dips as well which oh so excited but yeah really really looking forward to homemade pizzas tonight so we bought some like vegan grated mozzarella some vegan grated cheese um and i'm gonna have tuna with mine um and tuna and sweet corn and some like some dried tomatoes i think that'll be oh unreal but what are you having on your pizza then? um i'm gonna need oh, antipasto antipasti yeah so we picked this up and um me and sam are gonna sort of like have blitz, 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 little bits of these on our pizza so it's got we've got the char char grilled red and yellow peppers char grilled artichoke and some dried tomatoes mm. and so i picked up some more of like my fruit and like healthy snacky little bits because simon 
put the extra shelf in the larger unit. So Simon had actually had a really good idea of putting the glass containers on this shelf so it's like looking really pretty and really accessible instead of putting it up there. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna fill my nuts with the, all the fruit and the different nuts and then just picked up some more pine nuts as well um, just to fill that a little bit. But pine nuts are so expensive. <laughs> um, but yeah, super, super happy. And we've also got the extra shelf on there as well with our bread basket hello you've been a good girl aren't you you dried off now you dried off now yeah, yeah good girl nearly time for your dinner isn't it actually it is time for your dinner so Simon's just making the pizza dough so it's ready to prove and just ready to kind of like you know assemble and put all our toppings on later on um, but it's actually the pizza recipe from the Bosch book, which honestly highly, highly recommend this book if you are vegetarian or vegan or if you just fancy a change a few times a week. Um, but yeah, it's the perfect pizza dough recipe. We're about to have a lovely glass of rosé. The uh, mirror bell, because it is Saturday night after all. <laughs> Pro. Cheers. And wash it down with a chip and dip. These are quite spicy, these tortilla chips, actually. So it's nice to have a little bit of coolness from the dip. And while Mr. Chef over there is preparing the dough. Yeah, you should spin it round like um, like they do in restaurants. That's what I was just trying to do there. Kind of go like that. So this is mine, which has got the vegan cheese on it, tuna and sweet corn and just red onion. I'm kind of, I quite like my pizzas plain, you know, whenever we go to like have Papa John's delivery or anything like that, then I'm always a cheese and tomato kind of person. <laughs> um, a plain Jane at heart, to be honest with you. Um, but then this is Simon, so he's got, what have you got Sam? So vegan cheese, red onion, I've got the anti-pasty with the artichoke and peppers, some bush tomatoes, and sun dried tomatoes. Mm. Yes, they're huge as well. So, looking forward to this pizza night. Looking good. Shame you don't like tuna, Simon. I could have had some of this. So impressed with our pizzas, you know. A vegan dough and everything. I mean, I don't think that's vegan, but <laughs> garlic and herb dip. Yeah, looking forward to it.
so back where this vlog started would you believe it editing and mm, eating <laughs> and sat in the same position but you know looking a bit more presentable this morning i've just been editing the vlog and just having a nice chilled sunday morning but yes this vlog does need to get to you by this afternoon so i am in a bit of a rush um however how amazing did those pizzas look last night they tasted incredible i only could have half of my pizza just because they're so so filling um so yeah that'll be probably dinner for tonight as well which is which i'm really looking forward to but simon did such a good job with the dough honestly it's incredible and definitely recommend that recipe but yeah last night literally just consisted of us just watching telly in front of the fire we watched an episode of ozark which to be honest with you we're only on season one and um, we only watched it we only started watching it this week but how amazing is it i cannot believe that i haven't watched it before or even like attempted to watch it before and then after watching an episode of ozark we watched the latest episode of snowpiercer which another fantastic series and definitely recommend if you can watch it on netflix um season one was like really like season no season one was okay then season two was like really really good and th season three which is the season now uh, it's good uh but very interested to see how it plays out there's only three episodes so far um definitely a lot more to discover with this series and also we absolutely binged watching the woman in the house across the street from the girl in the window um yeah we binge watched watched that within a few days it was actually really really good it's supposed to be like a parody from different series and different comedies and of course it took inspiration from the um woman in the window the book and also that rubbish movie that amy adams starred in like it could have done so much better that movie I'm not holding grudges or anything like that but yeah it could have done so much better um but yeah that uh, woman in the house across the street from the girl in the window was a really good series and definitely take it with a pinch of salt um especially the last episode <laughs> a bit weird but yeah um and we also actually the other night watched the film called Night Teeth which is all about vampires well these two girls who are vampires and this like human is taking them around in a car and being their chauffeur which actually was quite good Um we've been meaning to watch that for quite a few weeks now so yeah that was pretty good but apart from that it was a pretty chilled evening just catching up on tv series and just eating that lovely lovely pizza um and actually managed to hit the ten thousand step mark yesterday so i did because i walked ellie in the evening as well um i did twelve thousand 333 steps yesterday so super super happy about that but so far today and it's one o'clock i've only done 124 because i've not left the house uh so yeah mm, not as good as yesterday absolutely not um but simon is currently at his mum's house just having a cup of tea and he took ellie as well so and it is absolutely miserable weather outside um probably even worse than yesterday uh but you know trying to you know be healthy and well, I've just made scrambled egg and bagels, so not that healthy, but <laughs> but yeah, the plans for today is that I'm actually going to meet a friend for a coffee um, in about a couple of hours or something like that, so it'll be really nice to catch up with her, and uh, yes, of course, I need to edit and finish this vlog and upload it, and then Simon is going to cut my hair tonight. I've like said, Simon, you need to cut my hair tonight, like you need to. I'm not having any excuses, you need to do it tonight. Uh, so yeah, he's doing that tonight and I might have a little bath tonight as well. So uh, yeah, relaxation on a Sunday. Absolutely, definitely what the doctor ordered. So I really do hope you have enjoyed this vlog. Please don't forget to subscribe down below and also give this video a massive thumbs up if you've enjoyed it, you know. Or if you haven't, just give it a thumbs up anyway. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. Um, yeah, so thank you so, so much for watching and have a lovely rest of your Sunday. And um, happy Valentine's Day for tomorrow as well. Like, Valentine's Day is tomorrow. Like I said, me and, like I said before, me and Simon do not celebrate valentine's day that much um i'm not expecting anything and i hope you're not expecting anything either but anyway so yeah thank you so so much for watching and i will see you next week for a brand new vlog see you later bye bye